Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Ricky. If you're new here, I am a competitive ballroom dancer and dance sport makeup artist. Today I have this tutorial for you. Again, I put up another poll on my Instagram page asking what you guys want to see and this is the look that won. I'm very happy with how the look turned out and if you want to see how to achieve this, then just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be starting with the eyebrows. I'm gonna be using the same thing that I basically always use, my Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade Dark Horse, which there is barely any left of. And I'm gonna be using that on a Sigma E15 brush, the same brush I always use to fill in my eyebrows. I'm gonna be skipping through this part because everybody has their own routine for their brows. And if you've seen one of my videos before, you see me fill in my brows, it's very boring and we're just gonna skip right over it. All right, I am back and I filled in my brows and I also carved them out with the P. P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. It is pure white and I also used to highlight the brow bone the pigment called Prin from Peach's Makeup. All right, so first going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush, just a very big blending brush. I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to start out with this shade right here. Taking a little bit of that on my brush, I'm just gonna put it right in my crease very, very easily. This doesn't have to be precise in any way. It can be quite messy. Just putting it in the crease to have a little bit of a base color. Also wanna blend that kind of with the highlight and in the crease together so you don't have a harsh line between your crease color and the highlighter. Also, you're gonna to wanna to take the same color and the same brush, make sure you tap off the excess, and I'm gonna connect it from the outer part of my eye here to my lower lash line already. To I'm gonna do this with all the shades just to make sure that the outside of my eye is a lot more blown out and smoky. All right, now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place The Festival palette. I'm going in with this very bright peachy shade right here, and I'm taking out on a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. Basically with this shade, we're gonna do it the exact same thing as we did with the last shade, but it's gonna be a little bit more compact in the crease rather than going blowing it all the way up to the brow bone highlight. Now going back into the James Charles palette, I'm gonna dip into the very, very light pink shade of the palette, and I'm gonna take on a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH35 brush, and I'm taking just the lightest shade because I wanna have a little bit of a gradient from the inner part of my lid, which is gonna be basically plain, into where I have the colors on the outside, and I just think a light pink is a good way to do that. If I get a little bit closer, this is what it looks like right now. Now we're gonna go on with the darker colors, the browns and the blacks, just on the very outside. We don't wanna bring them in because that's gonna defeat the purpose of the whole look. So keep in mind that the next shadows we're using, try to keep them as close to the outside of your eye as possible on the top part of your eyelid and on the bottom. All right, going back to the Jaclyn palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. Now, since this shade is gonna be quite pigmented, you wanna work with just a little bit at a time and start to blend it out. And then once it gets more and more blended, you can add more and more shadow. Now what you just saw me do is I just took the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush, just a flat eyeshadow brush, and the very first shade in the James Charles palette, and I just added a little bit of shadow on the inner third of my eye to blend the 
inner part to the outer part and to brighten things. Now for the scary part, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some black eyeshadow. You can use any black eyeshadow. Just try to remember is that first, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe E36, this very, very small brush, just to place it where I want it. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC 217 with no additional product to try to blow and blend it out. And everything that we're doing right now is just on the outer one third of the eyes. All right, you guys, and this is one side with the black eyeshadow done. It still looks a little rough. I'm gonna fast forward through this side and kind of skip over it so you can see what it looks like with both sides done. Then we're gonna go ahead, add the eyeliner and the lashes. Okay, I know it still looks a little bit crazy, but I did do the other side and I just added some tattoo liner by Kat Von D in the shade Trooper Black. And now I'm gonna go in with my Flutter lashes in the style sprinkles. These are quite dramatic and I'm just going to put this on. Now we're gonna move to the face makeup. I'm just gonna put this in fast motion because everybody has their own routine of doing their face makeup, but I still wanna show how I do mine and I'm still going to list all the products that I use in the description down below. Okay, now we are done with the face. I just quickly did my face makeup, touched up my brows a little bit, and now we're back to the eyes. First, I'm gonna take my Inglot Black Gel Liner. This is just in the shade 77. Just the regular gel black liner. I'm taking that on a Sigma E65 brush, which is the same eyeliner brush that I always use. And I'm gonna be doing that just right in the outer corners of my waterline, kind of meshing with the black eyeshadow that I already have placed there. Along with that, I'm gonna go over with my tattoo liner again and just very, very thinly because if you look really close, you can see where I put it in my waterline and you can see the black eyeshadow, but I want it to mesh all together. So I'm gonna put it right at the very base of my lashes to try to make sure it's all cohesive. Now going back with my Morphe E36 brush and any black eyeshadow, same black eyeshadow I used on the top, I'm just going to brush again on the lower lash line on the very outer third and blow it out a little bit kind of pulling it a little bit down now that we 
have that black all the way across, we're just gonna quickly do use the same eyeliner and we're gonna do a cat eye on the inner corner with the black, continuing to where I had it from the upper lash line. Now that we have the cat eye on the inner corner now, I'm gonna be taking the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero, the same thing that we used to carve out the brows in the beginning. And I'm gonna put a little bit of it just on the back of my hand. And I'm taking it on an e.l.f. concealer brush. Now this is a super, super tiny brush and it's quite stiff, which means it's gonna disperse the product a lot more precisely than if I used a softer brush. So just taking it, on the tip of my brush, I'm gonna put this into the waterline and put a nice white line underneath the black cat eyeliner that we already did. Okay, now I just wanna say at this point, you could totally leave it like this. You could just add more black into the waterline, add your lower lashes, a lipstick, call it a day, or you could be <laughs> super extra and take the white all the way in. I'm gonna continue with the white in the waterline. Okay, we are back. We finished the lower lash line. We added the white and black eyeliner and I just had a quick coat of mascara on the bottom. Now it is time to go to highlight and lips and we are done with this look. For highlight, I'm gonna be using my Blushing in Bali Highlight Palette right here. This is the same palette that I used for the blush and I'm gonna be using mostly the center shade with a little bit of the lighter shade. Taking that on a Morphe R12 fan brush, as I always do, I'm going in with the middle shade. And I will add just a little bit of highlight above the brow bone on both sides. Now I'm going to take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush. This is more like a spotlight highlight brush, and I'm going in with the lightest shade in the palette, Glisten. For lips, I'm going to be going in with this CoverGirl lipstick in the shade 030. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I think it just complements the transition shade that I have between my highlight and the black, so I'm going to use it. You guys know that I love wearing lip gloss, so on top of this lipstick, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss. Um, this is in the shade, it has no name. Oh, it does, 305 Fiery. And this is just has a reddish sparkle to it, so I'm gonna add that on top. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you wanna see next for me in the comments down below and follow me on my Instagram if you wanna see all my posts and future information about videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful night or day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.